No green screen background intro. Yesterday, while I was out and about filming another video, I stopped by Ferrum Forge Knife Works and I picked this up directly from the boys. This is the Stinger Tie Button Lock and we're gonna open this up right after you guys see the logo. So, in the effort to remain transparent, I did not purchase this knife. Yesterday, when I was out and about, I stopped by Ferrum Forge Knife Works and picked this up, and I absolutely have had this knife in hand. I just had them put it back in the original packaging so that I could show you what you're getting. I do like this packaging. Let's pull the knife out. It is the Titanium Button Lock Stinger. Wow, it's, it's in there. Uh, the Titanium Button Lock Stinger, um, but mine's a little special because mine is the button lock carbon fiber one. So their packaging is cool. I like how they've went uh, with this black and white, pretty plain packaging. It reminds me of like the generic stuff that you would buy when I was a kid. They had beer that was marked beer, chips that was marked chips, it was black and white packaging. That's cool. They're starting to use these uh, like sunglasses bags. So you, instead of a wipey cloth and a bunch of other stuff, it just comes packaged in that. So you can throw the box away, you can keep this, you can stick it in your knife case in this little sleeve if you want let's get that out of the way as well so this is the button lock titanium version of a knife that i absolutely did love which was the stinger now they've went with a button lock on these because chris and elliot when i were talking we both agree that now that there's really good button locks out there there's no reason that most knives should not be button locked it is a safer lock it's a better lock for in a lot of cases and it's definitely more ergonomic because you're not losing anything on that with that lock there so these are done in titanium with screwed on inlays so if you want to anodize this you can unscrew this and take out your carbon fiber inlays because that will screw up the anodizing they've got their beautiful pivot here that's on it but i know you guys don't care about what's the steel it is a nitro v now I have not carried this yet. I have not used it, but it is basically the same knife as the, proto well, the prototype that I have. Hang on just a second, which was done basically the same. It was just a lot thinner and it was a flipper and it was a G10 scale. So this is the full tie version. So you're looking at the same thing. I mean, the, uh, the fuller has been well reduced, but this was a great knife that I absolutely loved. And I like this even better. It's a little fuller. So the reason that it's a little thicker is because you had to have room for the mechanism on this. So you've got a fuller knife, a bigger knife, broader knife, I should say, but it's done in their clamshell style that they've been doing lately, which means that it's two piece construction instead of three um, on this, in this case, technically four. So you're looking at an easier knife to disassemble because you don't have to worry about some of the body screws back here. And the fact is it gives you a cleaner look because you can have less hardware on that because you only need the screws here to hold the body together and then your pivot. And I got to say that this blade, just like the last one, ground beautifully thin behind the edge. Nice looking blade. This is really comfortable in hand. Pocket clip is a deep Ur carry pocket clip. It's kind of tall, but on this knife, it does not feel like a hot spot at all. And you got some jimping there on the spine. So this is just the unboxing. I will be doing some carry of this and hopefully getting around to an actual um, carry. But on first impressions, there's a lot of things about this. You can reverse flick off the fuller. You've got really really good action the button lock on this is not at all sticky or intrusive they've actually cupped out the top of that with some milling lines makes it look really well and the carbon fiber on this is done really well you've got some good luminescent on luminescence on this but it's not super highly polished uh if you wanted to do that you probably could they've done with a single point uh pocket clip but they've done it where they've milled that out so it's not going to slide around it's not going to spin it's been milled in there nice and it looks like it's in there good and tight i probably will never take this pocket clip off uh because i really don't need to so button locks typically they're pretty easy to clean you can do a lot of the cleaning and things without taking them apart this is one of those knives that you really wouldn't need to take apart you could just drop lubricant in from the top and just Make sure that you're just cleaning out those little spots where your button marries up for the close position in there, which you can access easily right there. As soon as I get some light, you can see right in there, you can just get a small swab in there and you get a small swab in there and keep it clean. You ne don't necessarily have to take these knives apart. This thing is so comfortable in hand. Uh, I liked this one. I liked the original release of the Stinger and it was it was okay, but it did, did feel a little thin 
this just feels so much better. It really does. And the action on it is just awesome. Being a button lock, like I said, it's great. Now, I do have to say there are two small things that I do have on a critique so far that I've seen just in the unboxing. Two small things. The jimping's kind of soft. And they, I think they kind of missed, they missed a chance for a reversible pocket clip. They did, but I understand why. Because if you look how this pocket clip is, you would have had a different shape to the uh, inlay on this. So I understand why, but it's just one of the couple of those small little things that I wanted to bring to light. Guys, I will get this in pocket. We will have a first day carry. I'm pretty impressed with this. The only reason you're getting a little bit... Ugh, it's, I've, I've lost a lot of the manual dexterity in my hands. Uh, the only reason you're getting this much info on a opening on an unboxing is because it's so similar to this knife i already know what i like about it so uh we'll get this first day in pockets uh i'll start carrying this and using it i know i'm gonna love it already we'll see how it holds up we'll see how it feels in pocket with it being a little bulkier and we'll see how i like it um i do have to say i like the pocket clip on it that same pocket clip that's on this knife better on this one uh, just because of the full, the thickness of the scales. So, all right, guys, let's flip this around, do some final thoughts, and send you out about your day. So, yeah, guys, I knew this knife was coming, um, and it was absolutely not a surprise that they're going to start going with button locks. They've talked about this for a while, good button locks being a thing. So we're going to get this in pocket. We're going to carry it. We'll see how I feel about it. Absolutely dig it. It is an upgrade to a knife that I already loved. So, not to make this any longer, this is kind of a short video, just kind of an unboxing, first impressions kind of thing. We'll carry this and we'll see. Guys, if you want to support the channel, best thing you can do is like, share, subscribe, drop a comment, hit the bell icon, and make sure you've got notifications, turn on your device. Those interactions with the videos are the best thing you can do for any channel. If you want to support the channel financially, bunch of ways. I've got Coffee Brand Coffee. You saw a quick coffee spot in the video. Uh, Tempered Trail is also a channel sponsor. They share a coupon code of Crazy Sharp, all one word crazy sharp. Um, I also have got a link for the coffee brand coffee down below that is built in. The coupon code is built into it. So you don't even have to type it in. You automatically get that 10% or that 5% off. Uh, sometimes it is 10%. They just launched a new flavor, orange creamsicle and a bunch of flavored cold brew bags. They also have tea and cocoa. So uh, the other ways you can do it, I have an Amazon store down below. You can take that link, pin it to your browser, use that for any shopping you do on Amazon. It supports the channel. It doesn't cost you anything at checkout. And I have got a membership that's tier-based where everyone has access to the Gilded server where we all chat, hang out, do knife sale, we share recipes. We got all kinds of stuff going on in there. There's not a part of the day where that place is dead. It's always hopping. Somebody's doing something there. I do giveaways for the baseline and premium tier members on the Gilded server, so it's separate of the YouTube stuff. And the premium guys have access to a sharpening tutorial series here on YouTube behind the paywall. Guys, that's it on this one. I love you all. Keep it clean in the comments section. I love you all. If it's your birthday, happy birthday, and I'll see you in the next video.